Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. In today's video, I want to talk to you about two very similar but yet different forms of social engineering tactics. And I'm talking specifically about tailgating and piggybacking. Now, I'm going to play you a clip. Sit back, enjoy, relax, enjoy the clip, and I'll see you at the end of it. Listen, I'm sorry, they didn't have Just anything uh, on record. Hold on hey. a second. I got the Did my cake wife drop a cake right off for me? Okay. I will cake. There's no cake back. Surprise party from ours on the second floor. She was supposed yeah. to drop a cake off. I she dropped it. Don't really matter. Uh, there she is, late as okay, usual. Okay, well, it stays right here very... not my problem, kid. Okay, I'll beat it, all right? No I can't reach my car. I can't reach my car. Could you buzz this camera? I can't reach my car. Wait, one minute. Is the buzzer okay? We're late for the party on the second floor, aren't we? Push the goddamn buzzer, will ya? Thanks. Alright, so welcome back. So that clip was taken from the movie uh, Sneakers, made in the year 1992. You have some very, very, very famous actors like Sidney Poitier, Robert Redford. Uh, the main character you saw, the guy with the suit carrying the box, that's actually Robert Redford's character. So what happened in this clip? Robert Redford, right, he's trying to gain access into this hotel so he can spy on someone. But of course, he's not registered in the hotel. He's not a guest. But he needs to figure out a way how he can fool the receptionist to let him through. So notice that, first of all, he goes to the receptionist and says, Hey, did my wife drop the cake? There was supposed to be like a party. Did she drop the cake? And the receptionist is like, what are you talking about? What cake? And of course, the Redford's character says, okay, 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 okay. And then he walks out. That initial conversation was very, very deliberate to try to plant the seeds of conviction in the reception is that this particular gentleman and his wife are staying in the hotel, they're supposed to have a party. And of course, Robert Redford's character comes back with the box with all the balloons and now he's looking the part. He's trying to convince the reception is that, hey, there's a party going on, I'm late, let me through. And of course, he also takes advantage of the fact that the receptionist is busy with another delivery person. So he puts a lot of pressure. He's like, you know, press the damn button, let me through, let, you know, let me enter. And of course, the receptionist caves in and allows Redford's character to gain access. And of course, once he's gotten to the floor, he simply drops the box and proceeds to go about his own business. That is the classic piggy backing. Now, what about the other one, tailgating? Here you have the attacker without access authorization closely follows an authorized person in a reserved area. You can see the picture right here taken from openpath.com. In front you have the real employee with the real clearance who walks through a secure door. Maybe he had to use like his key card or maybe he had to press like his pin or something. And of course you've got the attacker, the tailgater just walking closely behind him to also gain entrance. Now. I'm going to play you another clip, you know the routine, sit back, enjoy, relax, watch the clip, and I'll see you at the end of it. You here before? I'm Klaus Hergesheimer. Ah, new here. Oh, I've been here three years. G section. Oh, how are things in G section? Oh, uh, still the same old grind, you know. Checking radiation shields for replacement. Hey, by the way, where's yours? Uh, I've been waiting a couple of days for you guys to deliver them. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. Uh, you should have given us a phone call. Uh, yeah, look, I've got one here. Lucky for you, I carry spares. Now, you keep that on. You can't be too careful about radiation. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel much safer with this on. See you around. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, Klaus Hergesheimer, G-section. Just uh, checking on radiation shields. Welcome back. Now, that clip was taken from the movie Diamonds Are Forever, Sean Connery's last outing as James Bond, and fun fact, it was actually the very first James Bond movie I ever watched. Now, what you saw there was the classic tailgating. Now, 
unlike the first clip where you have the main character trying to gain access to a hotel lobby or room here you have james bond trying to gain access to a very secure facility obviously the guns are going to be better trained security is going to be a lot tighter so what does he do he hides inside his van he's trying to gain access to that particular door that entrance so he waits for a bona fide employee the scientist with the lab coat who comes along and then once the scientist puts in his key card he's waiting for the door to open james bond magically appears and notice very carefully you can go back and watch the clip very carefully he stands in front of the scientist blocking his view brings out his own fake card pretends to put it inside right and then he retrieves his card and while they're waiting for the door to open he engages in some very simple chit chat with the scientist notice that he is being very very confident he's been very very calm he's not fidgeting and of course the scientist believes that oh this person actually also works here as well and of course once they've entered the scientist asks like hey where is your tag why don't you have your id and of course james bond thinks very very quickly on his feet he says you know i'll be waiting for you guys to deliver it to me and of course the scientist gives him the tag and of course james bond now gains access to the building he's now impersonating the scientist he's able to go about doing whatever he wants to do that is the classic tailgate and so piggybacking and tailgating these happens all the time there's actually this joke here where you have people saying hackers don't hack tech anymore they hack human beings that's the whole point of social engineering so it says this house is built with unbreakable locks doors windows and walls and of course the wife is asking well then how did the criminal get in and of course he says well he rang the doorbell and i opened the door it really is as simple as that so that's tailgating and piggy back in two things that you need to be very very aware of now i'm going to round up the video by talking about the prevention obviously uh training employees people being made aware of such tactics is a very very obvious way of preventing such attacks in the first place but then as people generally we need to be a lot more observant right we see somebody who is walking behind us they're carrying something very very heavy they've not use their own key card or their pin number but they've closely followed behind us right we need to be observant and watch them what exactly are they doing and of course ask questions so in the case of the piggybacking where somebody is behind you they're carrying something very heavy obviously you're not going to open the door and then close the door you know in front of their face that's going to be very very rude and very very impolite so obviously you're going to let them in right but then you can simply ask questions like hey you know who are you are you looking for someone can i help you and then see what they tell you and if you're not convinced you can follow up with security just call security and say hey look you know this person walked behind me i allowed them to enter they claim that they, they are here for some sort of meeting or whatever and then see what the security says so these are basically the ways how uh piggybacking and tailgating can be prevented so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it do give the video a thumbs up share this video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it if you're new here to the channel welcome to lab cyber my name is alex i make videos on cyber security do, sub do subscribe hit the bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new tutorial thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time cheers